don't have to worry about none of this. Try to enjoy it for a week. I feel like a fool. I just feel hurt, cause I really love him. Myself. Ain't show up. That's his client. And you been sitting there an hour already. What the f is this problem? Yo, he is pissing me all the way off. Don't let him get to you. I do this big ass tattoo today just because he somebody tattoo on their finger. Having a new business is, is new for C's, but at the same time, as a family, we're trying to build it into something that we all can love and be proud of. And I don't know if he cares about it that much. Maybe you gotta give him some tough love. You gotta keep me here for a reason, what happened? I was coming to check on you. And you were smiling like that too? So? Why are you blushing? I'm not blushing, I'm smiling. You just happy to see me? I am happy to see you. When I first came to New York, I was guarded. Now I'm a lot more open. Oh, wow. You're really blushing. <laughs> I'm more comfortable being me because I'm starting to be comfortable with the people around me. you making me feel like we was talking about <laughs> Now you're talking about something totally different. I don't feel like talking about I want to talk about that smile on your face. Being the boss, you have to be professional. It's a thin line. And sometimes I'm not even going to lie. I be wanting to cross it. This is your problem right here. <laughs> You're flirting with me. <laughs> you got a terrible life. Oh, God. That was the wedding chapel for me. I married every single girl that was there. They don't even know it yet. is half naked. You can never miss something like that. I love the fashion show. Leslie, I know you know. Hi, I'm Adele from Vibe Vixen. Nice to meet you. So the lady from the magazine, she approaches me after the fashion show. I loved your look on the runway. Thank you. You so were working it as if you were just like born there. So yeah. I feel like your look, your style, and everything is something that our Vibe Vixen readers would love. Uh, so could you see down your information? Definitely. That definitely. would be great. Like me, I'm not a model. I'm not a model, so to speak. Go, bitch. You better work, bitch. You better work. Oh, my God. Look looking real nice. Got the little makeup. I ain't never seen you with makeup on. Duchess is a hot tamale right now. Everybody wants a piece of her. What's this, a little ponytail? Let's get this in the clear. This is a foxtail. You know why? Why, why? Because the bitch is mother... Foxy, okay? Mm. That's why. That's why. Straight like that. That just wants me. Yeah, I'm sexy. That just wants me. I just ain't never seen you like this. He can't yeah, be you, 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 you got sweating. You got sweating. You got sweating. Are you okay? Hold on. What's going on? Okay? Uh -huh. you, you. Let me put these pretty feet in these shoes. I'm going to come over here and help? mind all my business. You need some help?
Duchess and Caesar. Y'all are lusty. Right, I see and you put my shoe on? How you put, can, how Duchess got her shoe on? I can't get none of that, you see? They didn't even finish the job. You see? Yo. yo what the is going on in here, yo? Oh, you're naked. Oh, Just Get out. Move, man. You a hater. Out the way. Walks up. Hey, let me just take a picture real quick. There we go, there we go, there we go. Ah, ah. Woo. Hey, there we go. All right, one more flip. Send him the porn sites. Right. Oh. Oh. Get out the gym. Back in the back in the back in the back. Get out. That's just looking good in that bikini. I got the image of her ass firmly engraved in my head, and I like it. So we all going to the pool? Yeah. Can we go? Yeah. yeah. I'm, my fault, yes. I thought you were Henny and Heineken. I'm just Heineken and Henny. What is wrong with you? I shut up. Why is he grabbing me for it? Because I want to talk to you. Um, I want to do something special for you. What? I don't know. I figure we go out tonight or something. We got a bad phone. Oh, strip club. Uh, before the strip club. You want to go out to dinner or something? You serious? Why would well, I pull you back if I wasn't? I have to appreciate Alex. She exposed the situation in me and C's. We've been pushing each other away for a long time. All right. All right. I, I get the f out. No, you get the f out. You in my room. Let's I, go. I kicked you out your own room. That's fly, right? Nah, you ain't kicked me out of you out. You see, you're getting out. your ass out. So. I'm even me a gentleman here. Here's the door. Do there you go. Ooh, says so Shavree's dead, baby. Maybe that's his head. I'm not gonna like it. Oh! What is this? Oh my god! Look at it! Look at it! I can't! I can't! Oh my god! I'm here for my hot date. Hot, hot date. Yeah, got these for you too. You look nice. Thank you. I you can't. look nice too. Oh, beautiful. Take a picture. Take a picture of what? Take a picture of what? Take a picture of what? Nah, I picked them out the, the garden. <laughs> There's a couple weeds in there, but you gotta forgive me. I ain't really good at gardening. Nobody knows. What? Bobby Flowers. Y'all are too much. What? Oh, get away from me. Oh, I'm stop acting like that. Flowers is one of the most thoughtful things any any man has done for me. Oh, she's such a girl. God. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, no. Get out of here. Bye. It's so cute. It's the cute. He has a bouquet of flowers for Duchess. I don't know what to do. Way too much for my biscuit. All right, let's go. Why are you looking at me like that? I don't know. I don't know. Surprise, and you surprise me sometimes. Hey, how you doing? Hey, welcome to our right. doing? I made reservations Very too. Good. So I'm taking Dutch's out to a nice restaurant tonight to see where we stand. Why are you asking me to come out? I want to talk to you. Okay. I see a little smile now. I don't want to smile. Leave me alone. Why you want to smile? Cause, cause what? Looking pretty tonight though. Well, oh, thank you. I think I do look awfully handsome. So arrogant. How am I arrogant? You no. are. No, I'm not, not me. You are. He trying to be all suave, but I'm still looking at him like, what the hell? Because I really want to know, what are you plotting? Oh, these are different type of glasses for white wine? Yeah. Oh, check this out. <laughs> I'm used to Hennessy, my bad. <laughs> I ain't never drink no wine before unless it was church. We ain't at church. Try that? What the hell is that shake? Are you gonna mix it? I was never, never, ever a big wine drinker. But whatever Dutchess want, bring on the wine. That's not sweet. She ain't got no kick to it. I saw that whole damn bottle. I should've got some handy. I'm not a connoisseur, 
But this wine tastes like water. Where's the honey? Oh, of course. Yeah, please Thank give you. him that. So why are you so tense lately? I'm in a situation that I don't want to be in. I understand that. I mean, you blew up a couple times unexpectedly. Yeah, I blew up because I'm starting to catch feelings that I shouldn't be catching. Because of my past and the amount of times I've been hurt, I'm going into this very cautiously. What's your intentions with me, as my father would say? I'd be a fool not to explore the possibilities. I want to see where it's up. I'm scared of you. Why? Because you're just like me. Isn't that a good thing? No. How would you ever know if you keep running? I like running. This ain't track and field. You're a grown ass woman, you can't run forever. As this date goes on, he's just showing me that he really wants to like make me happy. Like he wants to be a part of my life. I'm definitely opening my heart to file for C's. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna strip drink. Strip for a little while. I promise. Scott's on it. Pinky Swift. Oh, you gotta still with kiss, so. Alright. Yes! This date went better than I expected. I ain't even got a kiss out of it. Now it's on to the strip club. You nervous, baby? Man, I'm Caesar. I ain't never oh, nervous. Hell. Don't act all tough now. What? We're gonna turn that tough down in three, two, one. I'm taking C's home because I need to know from people that love me, do I need to invest my time and energy into this? Ah, you, a gentleman. Of course. I try. How you doing? Hey! Oh, hey. hey. That is C's. How you doing? All right. It's good to meet you, finally. So when I first see Dutch's dad, I thought this mother went back and did like a thousand push-ups before he went and came to see me. <laughs> Seize, why don't you come over here and let me uh, grill you? I need to know your intentions with my sister. Why see, can't sit I right here and get grilled? Nah, I need, I need to see your face. Come on, <laughs> let me get... This is the perfect one to grill yeah, your crazy. ass. Come on, let me get some questions in. Let's hear this. <clears throat> what are your plans with her? What do you see, in, let me say, in the next two years? Well, next two years, I'm gonna try to get her some anger management, right? <laughs> when she wakes up mad at breakfast. Like, I don't even understand that. I mean, I'll be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I like your sister. You like her? Yeah. I can't sit here and tell you exactly what's gonna happen in two years, but I'm hopefully I'm still with her. Well, that's good. She needs a good, strong person that can handle her mood swings. Oh, So God. if you can do that and stay on the job, I salute you. You're the first guy Christina has ever bought home. For real? Yeah. She talks about you a lot. What she says? I think this is the one, Mom. And what else? Everything is just going so fine. And what else? Yeah. That's enough. Oh, wait. You hit me for You asking a whole lot of questions. I want to know what you're talking about. I heard she was in love. Oh? I mean, I knew Duchess loved me, but I never heard her say it out loud before. You like kids? I like kids. Y'all need to make a little beautiful girl. You look scared. <laughs> You are about to be 30 in a little while. You need to speed up the process, because you getting old. When Duchess' sister asked me about kids, I was thinking about running. Duchess set me up with her sister to ask me that damn question. Mama Ruthie on Caesar. He is like a five-year-old boy, and she is just whipping him. Like, pew, pew, pew. Mommy, let me come in. Let me show you. I have to tell you something. I'm sorry. What? 
This is my girlfriend now. Who? Um, Duchess. Can't be this bitch up here. Yeah. Uh, see, somebody please tell me how long it's been going on. Oh. One minute. I'm gonna go with Duchess. How long is a minute, Peanut? No, let her talk to Duchess. Now, how long has this been going on? Well, we was just trying to, like, fight it. And when we got to Vegas, it just got a little out of hand, and we just yeah. fell. And then C's one, he, he didn't want me to tell you. He wanted to be the you one to you tell you. You know what you want to be my friend? And you tell me everything I want to know. I will, mommy. Time to go. No, 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 grab her. Get off. Don't hurt, go. mommy. I love you, baby. I love you, too, mommy. Bye-bye. All right, mom. OK. So what you think about Dutchess, man? OK, so, so listen, um, I want you to be nice, OK? Hmm? I want you to be nice, right? Because I know how you are, all right? Cause you know you could be a whore sometimes, and if this is a real relationship, then be nice. Cause she's a good girl. Don't hurt her. Let her go before you hurt her. Okay, man. Well, okay. You know, it's time I'm, to go. I'm, I'm behaving myself. You promise? I promise. Pinky promise. Okay. I'll be good. Nah, no, it's, it's too weak. It, it's 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 not, it's 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 okay, it's put some stamina in that. <laughs> okay. Been there. Oh, Carl Grace, my favorite tattoo artist, he's coming through today to give me and C some tattoos. So what do you want to do? We're going to do the chest pieces. OK. The king on this side. All right. And queen on this side. Oh, that's sick. You get your left hand, and you get your right hand. So when they walk the street and they hold hands, they'll be united. I, me, personally, I wouldn't get no like that done, but that's a hot setup for y'all, too. <laughs> that's going through Ted's head as Caesar's talking about getting his tattoo is you idiot. Dutch, make sure he get his first. You better not punk out. Why am I punk out? I'm just happy that they're finally, like, becoming more and more comfortable with the fact that they're married. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's do it. Ladies first. Carl Grace is my man. He's a very humble guy with a lot of skills, and I only hope to have half the talent he had. So I was like, this is, this is the king. I'm going to have, like, some, like, almost like it's engraved in right here as, with the, this is obviously giving me the white highlights. Oh, that's dope. Well, if anybody that has a problem with me and C's getting matching tattoos, the only thing that I can say for them is kiss my ass. You never really told me what this represents. I guess we're at the point where we realize what we want and what we can have. Yeah. So it's like King Caesar and Queen Duchess, urban royalty. Everybody around here is like, we the king and queen of Harlem. So he was like, why don't we get king and queen chess pieces? That's hell to pay. That's it. What up? I'm hurt. <laughs> your life. You sleep on the couch. We don't have a couch. Well, when we get a couch. Then I'll sleep on that one. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I love my new tattoo. We are definitely evolving and growing, and that's the beauty of having a relationship with somebody that you do want to spend a long time with. Let's do this. I ain't got no henny. You I need go some get henny. you some henny, baby. Yeah, just give me some henny, baby. All right, dog, I'm ready. You ready? <laughs> you better get ready. I'm ready for him. You ready for him? Yep, I already did mine, so I'm ready for you. <laughs> I hope you cry. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, because at the end of the day, I'll always be somebody's king. Thank you for playing me. I don't understand him. You're the one who came up with this idea to get matching tattoos. Nah, we're not playing that game. I was a shot. It's kind of difficult now, man. We're really doing good, and then the success goes to people's heads. 
You know what, man? It's like the more money you make, the more problems you got. Like, you get a little bit of taste of success, and you, you find out real quick who's there with you and who's just looking for a free ride. It sucks. I was never the type to want to lose a friend or burn a bridge. But moving forward in my life and where I want to go, you just have to do it. And those are the steps that come with it. Let's tear it all to pieces. Let's throw out the rules and your hypothesis. Let's skip the game so all that remains is weak links in your chains with the pictures of Jesus, please. What does it take to get me riled up? I'm too strong to let mistakes just pile up. I know life will test me more. Till there ain't nothing left to score. Come and face me then. Rush with the wall. Yeah, ace to ten. We're done, dog. Uh, even the wipe hurt. So what do you think, dog? Carl, I love this tattoo. Love it? It's everything I expected from a Carl Grace tattoo. Like, this guy is a phenomenal tattoo artist. And I've been admiring his work for years. I'm just happy I finally got him to work on me. Yo, Carl, this tattoo's crack, man. You love it? Oh, man. Because I'm the king. Excuse me, I gotta talk to Duchess. Well, you come out here all somber like you in the funeral. I just finished talking to Ted. Ted said you're manipulating me and the shop's in trouble because of you. That is what he told me, so. So now it's about Ted being this is some bitch. This drama for drama. I mean, what the? Teddy just want to bring this to seas because he needs some attention. He just mad because I'm cutting off that coattail he been riding on. Jimmy. Baby, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not feeling it. So you don't have nothing to say? That's a dumb question. This is a, a childish ass game. And I wanted to end. What do you not understand? So all, all this, you don't want to do this, you I don't, don't want to do that. I care about it. Hearing Tess say all them horrible things about Duchess really suck. But seeing her act like this made me feel even worse. Her attitude sucks. You know what? I understand you don't give a f about none of that. Come on. Baby, look. I don't want to talk about that. I knew you was going to act like Act like what, Cease? Nah, because. Uh, Cease, how I do you want on. me to act when. Dutch, you being my difficult. I'm you not being difficult. It's it's cause I got shit to do. But, babe, when it's on me, it's shit to be. Yo, your you want to be going through that. This is a woman who prides herself on being in control. But now, you're looking like a little child. Loud doesn't mean right. It just makes you look stupid. Grown ass kids. He said, I said, we said. Say what the said and say it to the face. After I left Duchess at the van, she called me and said we need to talk. I can't imagine her saying anything to me right now that she hasn't already said. You want to talk about something? You can't have an attitude about how I feel about something, baby. That's my, my emotions. I'm, I'm entitled to feel however I feel. And for you to come at me and say, if you ain't going to be positive, you need to go home, you're not coming at me positive. And then when I put mine to the side, you still did not want to meet me halfway. You acting wild irate for what reason? Calm down and let's talk about the I feel like this is displaced anger from having to be here and not knowing how to deal with his friends. As soon as we got to Jamaica, you was acting crazy. Now you trying to tell me I'm bugging? You are. I am tired of Guess the what? It's to the point that I don't even want to be around you right now. OK, so do you want me to leave? Is that what you're telling me? Dutch, you been said you was going home. See, I asked you a question. Dutch, I don't want to be around you right now. Why am I here? I'm here because you wanted me to be here. I had a heart murmur in the car as soon as you walked away. If we go into an argument that's getting my health involved like that, it's a point where we can calm that down. It don't have to get to that level. I'm tired of hearing about the health to use that as an excuse all the time. I think her heart issue is her biggest crutch. The way she acts, I don't even know if she's doing this just for attention. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of are you flipping out on each other. you want? What you mean what I want? What are you saying? You're saying I'm tired of it. What are you saying to me, see? I'm about to leave you the alone. So that's what you came over here to tell me? Yeah, I'm you about to leave you me all the way to Jamaica to break I, up with me. Dutch, we're not going to get along. Get, yes, we're we are. Gonna we're going to get along. And you're going to fix this with me. I'm you know why? Fixing. Because everything that we done did, that's why we done did it for. Caesar is not dropping the issue. He is being stubborn as always. This I am Caesar cocky, arrogant attitude that he think is going to get him so far. Why be cocky and arrogant with the woman that's sitting here helping you get through everything? So who was there with, with through everything but me and you, Exactly. See? And so who why, else so why, why the, the you 
have an attitude. Why the f you have an attitude? I don't have an attitude. The negative I don't have an attitude. Dutch, you a liar. I ain't want to deal with this right now. You're not here all the way. I'm here all the way. I wouldn't have came if I wasn't. Don't do that I to forced me, you to come here. You didn't force me to do I'm, I'm an adult. I do whatever. You, you go back I to New York. I can do whatever I want to. You go back to New York. I don't want to do that. I you want to that. fix it. I don't want to fix it. You have to. No, I don't. You do. No. I'm leaving you alone, yo. Come here. No. Hug me. Hug me, baby. Please. Dutch. Just to me, please. You do not want to fix yourself. I'm tired of being miserable, y'all. What Seize does is he lashes out on the people that love him the most. He does not understand what love is. He does not understand how to reciprocate those feelings. He is in a circle of hurt. And I love him enough that I want him out of that circle of hurt. What you want? I think I like the fact that everybody that I was cool with before I was with you ain't cool with me no more. You think no, I like the fact? I don't you think like, I like it the either, fact see, that we so I, want, I want us to fix everything. You do? That's what I want. Well, first thing you have to fix is your attitude. How many friendships have I almost lost over you? Your attitude is the reason why all these motherfuckers are trying to get at me. This was just a straw that broke the camel's back. It makes no sense for you to always be negative all the time. Like, I'm not eating that yo. What? I'm sorry. You should not be that mad about me having a conversation with I never with should be else. that mad. Now I'm to the point now, now like, I made a mistake. You gotta fix your attitude. I'm gonna tell you that right now, yo. Everything I was holding back, I got to get over my chest. It felt like a sense of relief. I am single and ready to mingle in Jamaica. This man is damn near heartless. I ain't done nothing but care for him. He ain't done much of nothing for me. This might be the weirdest moment in my life. Here I am in Jamaica celebrating my man's relationship, and I just ended mine. This whole time I was with Duchess, I was giving her what she wanted and not what she needed. She needed to be sitting down and put in her place. But because I loved her so much and didn't want to hurt her feelings, I let her go. And by doing that, I created a two-headed monster that everybody dreaded and hated. So I'm partially to blame for all of these relationships that's been destroyed so far, including my own. And that's the one I worry can't ever be fixed. Yeah, have fun? Figure I had that little girl time, son. I'm glad Duchess accepted my dinner invitation, but she brought her moms. At least we got a referee here in case it goes in. Wait, Ma, you, you still ain't telling me what's the um surprise visit. Why is the surprise visit? I just came to check on you. Make sure everything was OK after the Jamaica trip. I decided to go to dinner because I love C's. I care about him a lot. And my mom came to make sure that everything was OK with me. She's worried about me, and I would be, too. Well, it don't seem like you want to talk. OK, I'm talking. Tell me, I do not defend you because I take that very disrespectful as a man. You're calling me a coward. Are you unhappy because you think Caesar's friends hate you? Is that why you're so unhappy? I've just been going through a lot. One thing after another, and nobody understands. Even Caesar, you don't understand. We're trying to understand that. How can I understand when you shut down? I can't guess anything. I, I can't say. No, baby, just like with the miscarriage. You're gonna say to me, you knew what was gonna happen. You hurt me, baby, when you did that. You know what the doctor said? It was either the baby or her. Yeah, yeah, 
I would have rather miscarry. It doesn't matter, baby. He don't understand. That just got really up over a miscarriage. It's a very complicated pregnancy. If it would have went through, I'd have lost both of them. What bothered me about this whole situation was Dutch was willing to die just to have this baby. What he trying to tell you, Chris Donner, he'd rather have you than you die. I know that, but he don't understand how I was feeling. Emotionally. I was hurt that I lost the baby because as a woman, you don't want that to happen. I thought C's would be more supportive. I thought he would be there for me differently. And he wasn't. Dutch, I'm sorry. I didn't see it as anything. I deeply apologize. And you trivialize stuff sometimes like it's not that serious, and sometimes it is. But now you know, and the rest of the weekend we're gonna smile, because I got a hell of a headache right now. So kiss and make up. me and Dutch is back together, the most important thing we have to work on is communication. I'm in love with her, but who knows the future? I have to hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. Oh, thank you, Lord. My counseling session is over. Y'all both owe me $500 a piece. I guess this is a breakthrough for me in being able to express myself more freely. It makes me feel more confident. I could build a future with this man. If somebody paid you $50,000, would you run through this restaurant naked? I'd do it for $1,000 right <laughs> now. Do it. Show me $1,000. I'll write a check. Nah, I don't want cash. I don't have cash. I'm going to need to bail myself out. They ain't going to take check. <laughs> Yo, bro, I f***ed up. You're calling me 6 in the morning, homie. Something's up. I'm into some Right now, yo, I need some help. Clap on? <laughs> the badge, yo. You remember that joint I was with before I started with Duchess? Oh, right, right, right. And I just decided to get up with her, like just, to, just to, not to rekindle or anything, but just like, yo, what up? How you doing? You feel me? We talking about? You just got up with just to say, hey, how you doing? And what happened was we had a we had a great time, but it went somewhere it shouldn't have. You feel me? Bad move. We smashed. Then the worst part of it is I fell asleep and I woke up to Duchess on her phone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you are totally slipping. I was caught red-handed with the knife in my hand, the glove fit. I don't even know how she got this bitch number. All I know, I wake up, she passing me the phone. Imagine your call you when you laid up with the next joint. Yeah, yeah. Like, yo, it's time to come home, What? You ever had that feeling when your mom's caught you doing something really, really bad? And you thought, like, it was the end of the world, imagine that times 10. Like, your heart comes out your throat, you on yourself immediately, and then you think about the next lie that you could tell both of them to get you out of this situation while you run into your car. Love is a man. Love is blind in all aspects, man. Because you went all the way out for this broad, homie. You done, you done wowed it on everybody. You done kicked to the curb, even the one you going back to now. You done kicked her to the curb without even a phone call, homie. I wouldn't be surprised if she did that herself. I wouldn't be surprised neither. This is a conspiracy thing. Yo, I hate everybody, yo. Set me up, Duchess set me up. You can't trust no nowadays. Dang. You want my advice? Get your things. You live here, right? Yeah, I live here. You, are you leaving here voluntarily or you want to stay here? No, I'm leaving. I just want to get my and go. Uh, come inside. Let's go have a chat. Sorry. So Dutch just called the cops thinking they was going to escort my ass out. 
Now, every black man knows you do not want to see the police, especially when you're going through domestic problems. But actually, I'm glad they was there because I thought she was gonna stab me as soon as I walked through the door. Is it gonna be a problem for me to get my stuff at the shop? Yep. Really, you don't even have to give me nothing but my inks. Right now, I'm not thinking about black ink. Black ink is C's and his problem. So I want all of my from black ink and I want all of his oh. Retire. Yo, come here. You. That police, I'm not going in there. Yo, come here. Give me this. Oh. Thank God Tech got here with this van. I can finally get my up out of here and go. Man, for what happened? Uh, long story short, I'll talk later. Why you, why are you bringing Ted in there? Like, what's that about? Where you gonna stay at? Ted's mom's house? Cause Ted stay with his mama. What y'all gonna do, share the couch? When I see Ted and Ty, I'm completely disgusted because I don't really f with Ted like that. But I guess, like all stupid f when they do dumb f they need their cheerleaders sitting on the sideline. Ra ra. You know what? I, I normally don't do this, right? Because nine times out of ten, I'll be right back there tomorrow talking about, yo, we made up, and all my work and sweat and all that meant nothing. My mama kicked me out once. I kicked out. Everybody once. kicked out by mama. Well, I feel like that man walking. I think it's best for both of us if I just leave. I know I did some <laughs> up, and she don't want to see my face. And honestly, I'm not man enough to even face up to her right now to even discuss this situation with her. But. I have to. This is it. Finding out C's cheated, it hurt. Cause he's sitting here acting like we working on things, but then he goes and do some sneaky snake like this. So he got to get up out my house. I loved you. I did everything I could for you to disrespect me like that and for that girl to tell me you had unprotected sex with her and you gotcha. just gotcha. yesterday morning. Gotcha. You are very disrespectful. Gotcha. You and you was in that bed with her and you told her all this stuff. You gonna get your tattoo covered up? You gonna get her initials on your finger? This is what you told her? No, I didn't. This is what you want? Are you gonna so call her right now and tell her you are done. Gonna... What are you talking call about? Call her right now then. Dutch. Listen you can't do that, though, right? I'm trying See, to talk I'm, to I gave you your stuff. Listen to I did me. everything I'm to that you to wanted you. to, and I'm trying to be peaceful. And All I don't right. want to fight with you. I don't want to fight My feelings anyone. got so hurt. You All never right. not came home in Gosh. my entire relationship yeah, with you. You're right. You disrespected can me it, to the can utmost. Can I talk? Why would you do that to can me? I talk? Can you just tell me why you would do that to me? It was a mistake. Honest mistake. It was a mistake. You have to understand. Making a mistake is picking up the wrong keys. That's making a mistake. Putting your in another bitch's that's not a mistake. After knowing that C's father died from AIDS and he's carelessly sleeping around with b without protecting himself, it's very dangerous, it's very reckless, and it makes me feel like he's not the man that I fell in love with. I'm all the way in the wrong, but you have to understand there's a whole lot of things that led to this, yo. You could have, we could have fixed this, and this is what I told you. You did the worst thing that you could do to me, C's. I'm not the only one that the made only mistakes that, in this and relationship. And I told you I'm sorry. All right, And then. I've been trying to fix all of Okay, then. When you it ain't it, just that. It's a whole it? bunch of other Please. Like, yo, I never told you I got called from Marvin. He's trying to use every excuse possible to justify his behavior. So for Cease to feel so insecure about something that's so minor in my life, it's so childish to me. Because we ain't talking about something that happened months ago. We talking about what happened last night. Hey, yo, now you being disrespectful. And I'm being disrespectful. Get out of my house. So Dutch, Go, on, get out of my house. No, get out of my house. I know. Get out. You dirty That's why you don't even take care of your own daughter. That's why the shop is like it is now, because that's the type of you are. You 
finish. Give me a boss ass. All right. I tried to get you to that point. I wanted you to uh -huh. be to that point, uh -huh. but you didn't want it bad Dutch, enough. Where's your credentials to get me to that point? I always been a boss person. I'm sorry, Miss Duchess. I thought you worked for me, not the other way around. Who signs whose checks here? Like you really tripping. And where we was before this? Oh, where was I? When I came here, I came with my BMW, and you came and moved in my crib. Right. That's why all of your is kicked out of my. It's okay. You didn't have your own. But I'm you about to get in my. I'm about to get in my Audi right get now. Get in your car because I, I got enough money to buy your car and all pay right. it off. Okay. You don't. Who you don't? don't. Who I don't? know your bank statement. I know, know my. You know my bank. I, I know make your bank statement. You, what you talking I about? I have to get the account. All right. I feel like he purposely was trying to hurt me. Which we adults, this tick for tag it's gotta stop. So my you help me get my bank statements. This bitch is crazy. Hey. <laughs> I've never been to Paris before. I I flew 4,000 miles just to win back a woman. Either she gonna take me back, or I'll make a movie out there and get my money back. Why you look like that? Cause you in Paris. Don't look like you happy to see me. I am. Feel like you was having a bad time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just confused. Caesar is here in Paris. He's got flowers. It's just different. Scott basically told me what happened. This is a good sign of me to see that, you know, at least C's cares. He does have some type of heart somewhere deep down in that little cold ass body of his. This is pretty dope, bro. I'm glad you came. Have fun. Yeah, I'm glad you ain't throwing me in the ocean. <laughs> now, this is the famous bridge. That I always wanted to go to. And look who took you here. So, what's the symbolization of this? Now we here. It's the Love Lock Bridge, I guess you call it. It's dope. Look. Damn, this packed. This wasn't playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got it engraved. That's dope. This is our last day in Paris. Let's just be running her mouth about this Love Lock Bridge. I'm gonna take her around there, swing her, be a little romantic type. So what are we gonna put out with? Get in there. It's totally on you. Here. Here's our lock, too. <gasps> our lock got a name on it. That's dope. Right now, I'm happy. Things are the way they should be. You learn to figure out what you want in your life. And I love him. I haven't stopped loving him, despite his flaws, despite his faults. And I'm giving him nothing but every aspect of me. I don't expect anything else but the same in return. Wait, ain't we supposed to say something like romantic and I don't know what you want to say. I love you. I love you too, baby. Mm. Wait, put it down. I so. thought you and me were over all that time. Had no idea you stayed holding a lie. Everything up to this point was the easy part. Flying halfway across the world. But winning Dutch's back is probably gonna be the most difficult part about this trip. These last couple of days remind me of the old time. I truly love this girl. I'm gonna <laughs> my <laughs> self. Oh, you got
you still ain't tell me yes or no yet. Will you marry me? Yes. You should. I love you. It's curious the way I let you in. Usually. Without her, after all the sacrifices, the fights, and the struggles I had with Duchess, I gotta say I'm truly in love. It's me and Duchess against the world. I've never lost my love for Cease during this relationship. In our off moments, like that's what real love is to me. Curious the way I let you She's my best friend. I love her. Switch. I gotta re-engage you? No, we just gonna switch the ring to the right finger, the one closest to my heart. Come on, baby. You're getting too damn sentimental with this This trip was well worth flying halfway across the world. But right now, I'm ready to go back to Harlem. Tonight, we got Duchess of Caesar's engagement party going on. Theme is 1920s, you know, Great Gatsby, Harlem Nights type. Definitely gonna be a beautiful night. <laughs> because yes, yes. <laughs> Talk to me. What's up? I knew you were gonna have them J's on still. Yo, you see that smoke? Am I tripping? Is that smoke coming from the steps right now? What the f is going on here? What is the smoke on them on? Like, who the f they think they are? Some rock stars? <laughs> to see everybody. My parents are here, C's parents is here. It's really good to see people that I know love me. It's gonna be a beautiful night. Now you got this suit on, you get the rest of that money together to spend on Duchess. What? I like the way this man talks. What do you think she needed? Don't she need that red diamond, that, that 12 carat? Maybe 15. <laughs> Caesar, to go with that Ferrari. To go with, uh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. That Bugatti. <laughs> Now that her pops is here, you're gonna officially ask for his permission. Yeah, hold on. Hey. Hold on. <laughs> pops is here, and you didn't ask for permission. <laughs> Permission. Caesar, you look a little nervous there, man. You need to wipe that sweat off your forehead and all that stuff. Yeah, take a drink or two, like relax yourself. I mean, if not now, then when? Like everyone's here. This might be the best time to get the yes. You gotta do it right, Caesar. It's only right. Don't be putting me on my by my party. Boss man. Boss man. I should slap this out of dumb and dumber right now. Why would they do this? I haven't seen Duchess Pops since me and her broke up and got back together. So I know this little mistake by me not asking him is a real touchy subject. So I figured we'll talk about it later. Let's just have a celebration now. Why y'all ganging up on me? Why? <laughs> 
<laughs> right now, I'm thinking about Plan B, my escape route. Hey, yo, let's go outside for me. All right, come on, come on, come on. All right, y'all have fun over there. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. Come here, come here, Walt. We gotta talk about something. Do y'all realize that we're at Caesar's engagement party? Ain't this don't win, bro? You want talking about me in front of me? Did you pick a date already now? No, I didn't pick no date. Dutch and C's have been through a lot, but they seem like they're in a better space, and if they're happy, I'll be asked not to be happy for them. But it doesn't change my mind about marriage. Attention, attention, attention. I just want to say thank all of y'all for coming. You're welcome. Especially you. You almost was in jail, but you hear my. We have. And shout out to my own girl Sky. We miss her. Salute to us, a family, Black Ink. We might all not be blood, but we together forever. I've never dreamed that I would be ever getting married. I want me and Cease to continue growing. This is the person that I want to go through all of my growing pains with. Hopefully one day we'll be old and great and enjoying a good life. Now let's start this party. I love you and how much I appreciate you. I love you too. I'm taking Duchess out tonight to talk to about signing this prenup. Black Ink means more to me than just a name. This is my life. I've been feeling for a while like I've lost myself. I'm not the same Caesar. Everything stops today. I just want you to know that I'm glad that you're the man I fell in love with. I'm glad that we've gone through our ups and downs together. I'm glad that we've hurt each other, and that's hopefully out of the way. I'm just glad that we had a place where I don't think nothing can come between us. I don't think nothing can ever separate my heart from you. What we gonna do about North Carolina in this shop? I got a phone call today from one of the property managers at one of the nicer neighborhoods. Like, it's in the heart of the city. I think we could really bank right there. Black Ink is a street shop. We're in Harlem. We're in the black mecca of, of the city. My shop in North Carolina, it's going to be more a, a open and diverse type shop. That's more double the money. Now we all going to feast instead of just eating. So your shop will be good. To be really honest with you, baby, <laughs> to me, it feels like no matter whether it's all mine or not, it's ours, just like Black Ink. <laughs> That would be yours. You know what I mean? You can't take credit for that. I know I'm talking about. For being a part of the business with you because when go wrong, who was around? That is some bull. I built Black Ink from the ground up by myself. Nobody helped me. This is the same reason why I need a prenup because nobody's gonna take it away from me. Your biggest fear is me leaving you for some other woman. My biggest fear is you leaving me high and dry. To show that we even taking a step forward, we need to sit down and really get our paperwork together. People just like us, they taking care of beforehand. The had a prenup. <laughs> what happened, LeBron? What? <laughs> you funny. I'm funny? Oh, no. You're the comedian of the year. Trust me, baby. You're hilarious. What am I taking from you, baby? Black ink is barely kicking rocks. You can keep that. Keep that. If you with me, I will come for your damn jugular. And I will say some that really hurts. It don't gotta be physical. It can be emotional. It can be mental for me. I don't give two. Yeah, you sounded like Puma for a second. No, I don't wanna sound like nothing. That's how I you love sound. It. She doesn't give credit where credit is due. 
If you ask her right now who got you where you at, she say it's her, not realizing who was up with her drawing seven hours a night from day one so she could get better. To me, she's starting to have an ego like Puma. When you met me, I drove to the shop in a BMW. I took care of myself. I'm not saying you won't. And I will leave taking care that's, of myself, because that's what your fear is. That's, that's not, it's not my fear. What would you do if you really hated me? Let's say I did the most hurt, hurtful thing in you the world have. to me. And in the midst of all the hurt, I still managed to be right next to you. You still managed to be right next to me. I don't know what's going to happen next, because now I'm having mixed feelings. For the woman that you're going to marry, sitting there trying to put down your business, put down basically your brand, and then take for granted everything that you do for them. It makes you wonder if you really want to spend the rest of your life with them. My heart is with you, though. This is like dancing on me, and I'm just like thinking, what is going on? Like, is she trying to me? What is she doing? You know, this is like not nothing new. I have this thing where I feel like everybody wants to have sex with me, but it's something new with Duchess. Can we stop at that cheeseburger spot, though? Oh, no, no, not have a chicken. No, like, for real, I buy all y'all cheese. Sky we got to stop by the cheeseburger spot, cab driver. <laughs> Do y'all want something? We in the drive-thru. Give me an Allison one cheeseburger apiece. Uh, bitch, I got drawings on my wall. Bitch, I got drawings for your mother ass when I walk in the damn sleep. Bitch, I got drawings for your mother ass when I walk in the damn sleep. You can tell that these girls are too sweet. Twisted. 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 Twisted.
um, let me talk to you. I feel like we should keep that between us because if Caesar find out, he's gonna be mad at you because he know I don't do that. So I'm like, whatever, I, I won't say nothing. Then I see that she says something anyway, but try to turn it on me. You're so paranoid that she's gonna find out that you just made up this whole elaborate story and accused me of doing something illegal. We were cool, but now you just totally crossed the line. Game on, bitch. Was you talking to Duchess while we was in Miami? What you mean? What you like talking to her on the phone? What you trying to say? Nothing. I just wanted to know who she was talking to for a long time. Wasn't her phone broke? Her phone was broke. Okay then, so. She had another phone though. What the f is she talking about? I live with Dutch and didn't know she had a second phone. At this point, like, I give no f I'm gonna let Caesar know what his dedicated fiance is really doing. And what happened with that? She was off by herself for mad long, and then she didn't come back and say, like, oh, Caesar said anything. And she was talking to somebody for like three hours. I can't even believe that this is reality right now. This place is definitely just so dramatic. And what happened to her ring, though? Her ring is on her finger. Don is throwing a lot of logs on Duchess's bonfire. What the f is she trying to do? Are you saying like that? You sound like you're trying to start some. I'm just saying stuff that, that I noticed and that it came to me. And you know, I don't know y'all on a like a real deep personal level. You had your that's kind of personal. She told me she lost her ring when we was drunk. Mm -hmm. And then she said somebody else that a frog ate it. A frog ate it? A frog jumps on my foot and it puts me in a panic. And I realized I, I lost it. That's quite a story. And we was in the club and single ladies came on by Beyonce. And I was like, oh, we can't dance to this. And she's like, girl, I lost my ring. Word. Uh, this is very interesting. I like to hear about that voice. Hey. Hey. Hi, guys. Hey, guys. Hey. Duchess has some impeccable timing. What's up? This has no idea what she just walked into. According to Donna, Duchess hooked up with her willingly. She's walking around without her ring, and she has a dude on the side. Glad I showed up to work today. <laughs> I'm surprised Duchess' spider sense ain't tingling off the charts. It's like she's walking right into a minefield. This is a crazy day. <laughs> yeah. Donna, you're crazy. <laughs> Jeez, you're crazy. How am I crazy? You just walked in. You have nothing to do with this. Oh. <laughs> I'm safe. Right. You're good. How you safe? Yeah. Uh, what part of the conversation am yeah, I a part crazy. of? Huh? Donna said you a kill. It wasn't a kill. It was an attempt. And it was an unwanted attempt. The fact that you took advantage of me in a moment of weakness because you are a thirst trap bitch that don't know how to control yourself sexually, that's what I have a problem with. How many of y'all have ever seen me drunk? Maybe twice. Since Donna been here, have you ever seen me drunk? I seen you drunk. You seen me drunk the night you took advantage of me? Yeah. Oh, that night. Now I took advantage of Donna, I was mad drunk. If Donna is all touchy feely with me in the presence of everybody, do I ever warrant that? type of shit. You always let me touch you. Since I met Duchess, she always let me touch her butt, grab her boob, like, I sit her down on my lap. Like, I touch Duchess when I want to. She always pretends to be such a angel, like nothing ever freaky could happen with Duchess. That's a lie. And this is right here where it's about to turn into a nasty situation, because you don't, don't care. Donna, I care. I, so, so I feel like that's what you've okay. done. No, and I, I have the right to feel like it's this not a big crazy. deal. It's not a big deal. And In my opinion, being a lady is having some respect for your vagina, you know? Don't just pass that thing around. Or if you're going to, at least enjoy it. The next morning, what I said to you, what I you said, said, Donna, you know that that's not something that I'm into? You well, said, let's, let's not, not tell C. Let's not ever cross that bridge. Because he's going to be mad at you. Because so, so I'm not home. Like what did I do, baby? You told me Donna tried to you tell me. You told me a lie. That's exactly what you did. I didn't tell him the truth. Because I, I just told him the truth. Truth. She said she rolled y'all up and was <laughs> like it was on um, Thanksgiving. I told you to get off of me. And you didn't have to tell me to get off of you because I was already off you. Good, because nobody wanted you on them. Once I found out what you like, I moved on.
I was taken advantage of by a thought while I was drunk. Donna took advantage of me when I f***ing did want it. I was disgusted by the fact that that bitch did that And that's what the f*** happened. The end. The end? You may think this is over, but it's far from over, bitch. You, you wanted to get your so you got it. Duchess and I hooked up in Miami. No big deal, just fun girl stuff. But she's so paranoid about Caesar finding out that she makes up a lie saying I tongue raped her. Nope. Too bad for you, Duchess. I actually have proof. Allison. Yeah. Hey, boo. Allison was actually there. She knows exactly what happened, and she can tell everybody. So, um, let me just ask you this. Did I take advantage of Duchess? I was drunk. Was Duchess not Allison laying on the I, bed? Allison, was I drunk? Get out no, my face, no. time. Get out my face time. time. Get out my face time. Dude, these bitches are so fucking childish. Like, are we in high school right now? Was this bitch drunk? Was I drunk? Let her answer the question. We always drinking. Exactly. Do I ever drink, Allison? She don't know. Anyways. Well, I, they know, and they attest to the fact that I don't did ever I, drink. Did I in so any I type of drunk? Did I in any type of wedding? Yes, you was a thirsty ass Let the witness speak. 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 Some bitches. Did I at any time? That's what it was. Force myself on Duchess. No, I wouldn't say no, nothing. No, if that was the no, case, if I, if no. I violated... Right now, Duchess is definitely full of <laughs> She's like 10 shopping bags full of <laughs> right now. You know what he sees? He's sitting on that couch burning on the inside right now. But it's one of those moments like, do I shut down up or I get the information that I need? Because Duchess will never tell you the truth. Why would you want to change the channel on this news report? And how do we stop? How do we stop, me and Duchess? You got up and went in the room. It looked like she was having fun, right? Million bitches numbers in my phone. I got a Duchess. You sound psycho. I can't even believe that this is reality right now. Have some respect for your vagina, dude. Like. Thank you, Addison. I'll call, I'll call you later. Thank you. The slut of Black Ink. Duchess is such a hypocrite. I've had sex with three people in this shop, and so have you, Duchess. I'm so tired of her turning the tables on people. Like, everybody needs to hear the truth about Duchess now. <laughs> So you like to get tattooed? I want to tattoo by Duchess. Duchess is all booked up today. Oh, I can wait. Is she tattooing somebody right now? As I just mentioned, she has a very busy schedule and she won't be available today. Oh, okay. What's up with this hoe? I just told you, Duchess is booked for today. This bitch is nuts. What's up, baby? There's this little rat bird in the front waiting for you. I've already told her that you're booked, but she's still sitting there anyway. Can you just go talk to her? I know I got a lot of tattoo fans out there, but it's too early for this lady to be stalking me. Do you want to uh, go outside? Excuse me? I just wanted to talk to you about the scenes. You want to go somewhere outside? Duchess, where are you going? Do you know her? You please. What? You don't gotta go then. I'm married. You don't gotta go then. Wait, wait, who? who? Come on, RJ. Don't gotta go then. Get, get my sister. Go who is she? Go who is she? No, cause I'm she will get laid me. out. What you talking about? Who is she? It's not coming on no uh -uh, problem. Let me down here. Who is she? My sister was pregnant by C's, and the baby was aborted. I just wanted to know if you told your man to abort that baby. No, I didn't know nothing about that. You didn't know that? No. So what's going on? She said her sister was pregnant by you. Who you? Who am I? You know me? Why you so shaky? Shaky? You just you just said I got like, your sister wait, pregnant. Who's your sister? I really don't know what the is going on right now. I don't know who the she is, but you can take one look at this and see she's crazy. Of course you're not gonna say who I am. Who are you? Of course you're not gonna you say You seen me before? Yeah, I seen you. You know before. me. Where you know me from? What the talk about? I'm coming to tell you what the I gotta tell you. You playing both of them. Like, what do you mean you don't know who the I am? 
you talking about? I don't know you. Bye. I would associate myself with I don't know like her. Look at, you. look at you. You just made it to five stacks. Five stacks? You couldn't five even stacks. pay for a portion that she had to pay for Medicaid. Portion? What are you talking about? That she had to about? pay for Medicaid. Sure, let's you be for real. Bugging, let's be for real. Let's be let's for be real. Who are you talking let's about? Get the out of here. That sounds stupid. Who the is you? Where's his imaginary person? I was person? never going to let her <laughs> Who the I don't know, mother I definitely ain't getting no mother pregnant. Get the out of here. What you talking about? I know you want to How you know me? Be Let's for be real. for real. Who you talking Let's about? Let's be for real. It's fake as <laughs> Bitch, it's my life. What <laughs> me, yo? Man, you oh, every day, B. You tripping, yo. Who is that Shaking. Like, yeah, I know you. Hmm. You're all right. Just give me a second. Yeah, where the crazy people come from, yo? Come here, sis. No, no, come on. What? Tell me why she said she had to Oh, my God. Do you want to fly back with us? Yeah, I do. Mean. Dutch. That's what you were saying? Hello. Hey. That's what you were saying? Let you know I ain't getting no <laughs> Baby. You just let me go. Dutch, you must be knowing that someone. Baby, I do not know that, bro. It hurts me that Dutch is believing that from this woman. Me and Duchess, yeah, we had trust issues, but I thought we was past that. Embarrassing enough after me humiliating the time with the time. I feel torn apart. I don't even want to see the world right now. Where you going? Dutch, just come back. Talk to me, Dutch. I just want to walk home. What's up, bro? You know what I'm saying? I got 45 missed calls from you, boy. Yo. Then when I'm calling you back, you ain't answering. Yo. Dutch just think I stood her up yesterday. Was I got a call from my daughter about a situation I had to deal with immediately. Damn. And then I come home now, I got the Dear John letter. And. Damn. No. Get the f out of here. She gave you the ring back, bro. She left the engagement ring. Right? The next day, I get on the phone while I FaceTime her. She's on her way to the airport. She's in North Carolina. Yo, that's crazy, bro. We that love. I love you with all my heart. How I feel about you is real. How can this be fixed? Can it be fixed? I don't think it can. This isn't the first time we've been in this place. And if I don't end this now, I'm sure it won't be the last time. Nah, hold up. Like, this bitch is tripping, B. What type of passive aggressive bull is this? Look how much time and money we got invested in each other. Look how much we done with each other. But you to sit here and believe that bull room from a crackhead you knew for 10 seconds and not give me a fair chance to talk about this? That's some the What pisses me off about this whole situation is this just came out the blue. Like, I'm gonna tell you the truth, this disrespectful. Look all the you done for her. Look all the I've been through. And I stood by her. This is the second time she took off this ring. That means she don't want it. She's supposed to be ride or die. There ain't no ride or die in this situation. I don't think she ever loved me. Cause you wouldn't do that to someone you love. I thought Dutch was my soulmate. I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her.
But for her to just throw everything away over a rumor, that cuts deep. I'm not doing it no more. I was a sucker. Well, I ain't no sucker no more, B. We here for you, bro. We always gonna be here. I love you. I love you too. Here you go. How was New York? It was whack. I seen everything that I needed to see to make me feel more comfortable about my decision to leave seats for good. Jesus! Finally. <laughs> about time. Took you She's long seen enough. the light. <laughs> Amen. Ever since I got back to North Carolina, I've had a lot of time to really think about all of the stuff that I seen on that computer. That really got me up. I feel disgusted. But let me see what's on the computer. Yeah, let us see it. Cause you know she loves C's. That's my son. Zandy, shut up. <laughs> Let her see it. <laughs> Show it to her. This is a little bit weird. I don't think nobody really want to see these pictures. I already seen them. Trust me. Y'all ready to see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me cross my chest. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Are those the tags? What time you get into the city? Hit me when you hit New York. You should send me a pic. Let me get a good one. Okay. This I ain't shocked. I'm gonna be honest with you. What's shocking to me is he really getting this much play, though. And these are from different people. God damn, son. Are you kidding me right now? You ain't worth a damn. Is this enough for you? Now what the are you about to do? I'm so sick of his sick of every thing. Open that door for me, BB. Duchess, where are you going? Him. Oh. I've been there for that man for everything. Will you marry me? He done did me extra dirty. And despite your flaws, I still love you. Yeah, I would have rather miscarried. You hurt me. A woman's loyalty is tested when a man has nothing. A man's loyalty is tested when he has everything. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't think you can no Our relationship is over, sis, but success is going to be my greatest revenge. OK. Because seeing me happy without you is going to hurt you more than anything that I could do. Look who it is. Hey, everybody. I'm about to say hey. It's good to see you. I just want to congratulate y'all. And that was it. We need to talk. Go ahead and talk. Bye. This is awkward. Last time me and Duchess sat down to talk, she screamed and blamed me for everything that went wrong in our mother relationship. Now you want to sit down and talk? What the I'm going to say no and make this more awkward? We should leave them alone. Time to get yeah. the yeah. out of here. What's up? I ain't expected to come in. I really just came to talk to you. What's wrong? I don't want to fight with you. I never want to fight with you. What I care about is solving a problem. I just don't understand certain things. Like why? He went down to North Carolina. Without hearing me out first, I mean, my woman just got up and left me. Bitch, when you left, felt like you ripped my heart out of my chest. I ain't gonna lie. Why me hated you for a second? I apologize for leaving like that. But baby, I was so fed up emotionally. I just felt like leaving was the best thing to do because I ain't know what else to do. You didn't come to sit down with me. 
it just made me feel like you didn't care anyway. And, and it just hurt me. And so it initially hurt me and I had to go. But I can't deny how I feel about you either. I can't hate you because I love you so much. And I can't turn it off. I love you and it, it, it tear me apart. If we can save it, I want to save it. Because I know I love you. And my love is stronger than my pride. I love you too, Josh. But... Josh, you passed that point. I'm sorry you feel this way. I'm sorry it's like this. But he went down to North Carolina. And I assume that this ain't going to work. I don't know what else to tell you. I know I lost you as my fiance, but I lost my best friend, too. It'll be all right, guys. I've loved Duchess more than I've loved any woman in my whole entire life. This is a woman I really thought I was going to marry, have kids with, have a family, but problems that can't be fixed. This love, it hurts too much. I'm still your friend. I feel like a fool. I just feel hurt, because I really love him. Hey, y'all. It's your boy, Caesar, Black Ink CEO. If you don't know me, the reason why is you ain't subscribed to the VH1 YouTube channel. At the end of the day, you already know. That's the number one channel on YouTube. And if you don't got it, I guess you just watch the number two.